if you put your feathers together like so, you can see about where the natural fan goes. But we're going to give it just a little bit more of a fan. The natural, well, let's see what we got here. I'll get it looking nice. We want it looking good. Okay? Don't worry about feather tips. We'll, we'll straighten those out later. But what we're doing right now is we're going to get all these feathers. We're going to work from the back. We're going to get this, this, uh, the back feathers right here. Get them in here. The big ones go in the center. Then you just keep going smaller and smaller. And overlap them the way they're supposed to be here. See that one there with a little bit off. So what we do is just pull that like so. So we just just keep going. This one here goes first. You can see the way the feathers lay. Just like so. And that's going to look beautiful. Now we just flip this over like so. These feathers here. And we're going to go ahead and lay those out there. Make sure everything's laying about right. I didn't get a lot to work with on this turkey from the guy. So he cut it off. And I like to do the cutting myself. But he did it. And he didn't do too bad a job. Anyway. Go like so. Anyway, we got it laid out beautiful, right? Like so. So what we're gonna do? Let's see how far we can go with this. We want that spread about. Okay, what I'm gonna do it? I got my turkey about the way I want it. What I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna put a piece of cardboard right like so. This way. I'll put a staple in here, and a staple in up here. Okay, now I'm going to go back the other way, right here. Same thing. I'm going to staple this up here, staple it down here, and one in the middle, like so. And that should hold that. If it doesn't, we'll put another one in like so. You've got to have some longer staples. Half inches work good. Anyway, that'll hold that till it dries, okay? Now what you want to do is make sure that your, your feathers are the way they're going to be. Because when this baby dries, you'll be able to move them a little bit. But Anyway, you, you know, feather. I don't charge a lot for turkey fans, about 60 bucks. You know, it takes me an hour to do one. I can make 30 bucks an hour. That's not bad. Okay, we got that. Now what we're going to do is we got that. I got a little bit of, you see the beard here, the end of the beard? Take a little bit of your dry preservative and put on that fatty area right there. And uh, that'll preserve that. And what I do is I put that on the board somewhere with the turkey. I staple it on there. Okay. And that way that bird is on there. Staple your uh, name tag on it. And you've got this bird, what, half an hour of work? I'll get the, the plaque. He's going to have a nice laser plaque. That'll take me another 15 minutes to mount this up on there. We've made 30 bucks in a little between a half an hour and an hour. A lot of people charge a hundred dollars. That's I've too got much. This turkey fan, I'm happy with it. Uh, we got everything here ready to go. Uh, it's going to be a nice bird. Now, what you can do is straighten out these tail, the ends of the feathers a little bit. But when you get ready to turkeys, the end of the feathers are dragging on the ground. They're wearing them off. And you can straighten a little bit out. But anyway, I'm going to set that aside to dry. Take a couple days to dry that out. And uh, we'll come back. Okay, this is a good springtime project. I've got the, I've got everything I need here. I, I ordered my panel. He wanted an engraved turkey panel here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this on here like so. Then the turkey tail will be behind it. Okay. What we're going to do 
is we're going to put the, the beard in here first. There's a slot. What you want to do is look at your beard is usually curved. And it's usually curved like this out from the chest. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that this beard is in this slot with the right curve down like so. So what we do is we put her in here like so. Get your curve coming up. All right, Toby. How are you, baby? Toby's coming to help me out here. <laughs> anyway, that's okay. We're going to go ahead and put this in here. Uh, let me get something to set this on. Like so. Okay? So, we're going to put the curve up because we're upside down. And then we're going to go ahead and staple this. That'll hold that in there. I'm going to give her one more just to make sure. It'll fit just barely in there. There we go. You can tap that in with a little hammer, a tack hammer. But that should hold it. Put some hot melt around here too. You can do that. And uh, we'll, we'll come back and do that. But anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to attach this. To the board. We got our screws here. We got our screws that came with the kit. We'll use the longer ones to attach this. We'll go ahead and go go through here like so. We're going to get our drill. We're going to get them get them lined up. This oak is hard stuff, so you gotta make sure you're in the right hole. You'll know if you're in the right one. It won't go in if it isn't. Okay. Now we'll take a look at that. We've got our beard on here, like so. It's nice and straight. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our uh, off, it, off of this. We've got it all preserved just right. Held out, held down real nice. Okay. Well, you see our fan right here? What we're going to do, you see these ends of these feathers are kind of boogered up? Well, a lot of turkeys are like that because they drag that tail on the ground. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this over again. We're going to put our turkey tail in here like so. You see how that goes in there? Center it up. And what we want to do is this comes with a, with a cardboard strip like so. What we're going to do is we're going to take and put that over the top, just like so. And what that's supposed to do is hold that on there. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure that this is centered up, straight, just like so in there. You can look at it from the back side to see if it's centered too. But I want to make sure that that's centered on there. And i got two little screws here that are just barely going to go in here. I'll put one in. I'm gonna get this little booger off of here that's holding me up. Okay. Okay. Fits right down in this little cupped area here. Make sure she's centered up. Put your paper over here. And get a screw in your screw gun. Now don't get into a quill here. Try to get in between them. Okay, we got one in. Okay. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to turn it around and look at it. Let's see if we got this thing about right. I want to hold it up and look at it. 
and yeah, it looks pretty darn good. So we're going to hold that there, get another screw. And these are short screws, so you get to bear down a little bit on them. You see how that, now here we go. We got this about done. We got our turkey, turkey tail and panel. And what we get, when I get done, I'll hang ahead. that up. You put another screw in right in the center, just like so. A little bit longer. We aren't going to dry. We aren't going too deep, so I'm just going to go ahead and just like so. Okay. I got one more. I got that screw in there. Beautiful. See, that didn't take long at all. That's a nice turkey mount. And if he had, if he would have saved the spurs, I would have mounted one here and one here. Just flatten off the back and hot melt them and glue them right to this here. And that really looks nice. But anyway, this turkey is about ready to go. Just straighten out these feathers like so. I'll hang this on the wall with the tag. This guy can come and get his turkey fail. Hardly any time at all on that. I mean, that's fast.